Hello, I'm Jay with Volunteer Audio in Oliver Springs, Tennessee. I've decided to make a video today to answer a lot of questions that we've been getting about the latest radio from Soundstream Reserve. Uh, we're pretty excited about it. We've been testing it and it has exceeded all of our expectations. So I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about why you would want this radio, who it's meant for, and what improvements you're going to get over what you currently have. All right, so first let's talk about who this is meant for. So if you have a GTS radio, 18, 19, 20, 21 Harley, and you've got the factory touchscreen, uh, it has Apple CarPlay capability, Android Auto capability, but you have to have what's called a WIM installed or turned on to activate that. So if you were to activate it through a CarPlay jumper, or even if you flashed your WIM and turned it on, you don't have the ability to use your voice assistant or make Bluetooth calls because you have no microphone unless you have a headset, wireless headset, connected to it. Um, I think if you had a GTS radio, uh, the improvement by swapping to this Soundstream radio would be that you're going to have more sound control, true front and rear fading ability once you've flattened your EQ, uh, because if you flash a GTS radio, you no longer can fade your radio uh, if you install a big system. You have a 10-band EQ with the ability to adjust it right on the screen, but I think it's really important to, to say that you can now use your voice assistant, you can use your Apple CarPlay with your voice because you do have an external mic that's not built into your helmet. All right, so also, if you have an older bike, 14, 15, 16, 17, and you have what we call a GT nav radio, or even if you had the 4.3 inch screen radio on the newer ones, this is gonna be a massive upgrade. Uh, probably the most annoying thing about having this radio, well, it has navigation that you can't use because it gets you lost. Number two, you're gonna wait several minutes for your Bluetooth to kick on. So every time you go to leave out, you've either gotta sit there and wait for Bluetooth to come up so you can select music, or you drive pretty much blindly in hopes that it's gonna connect and that it's on the last song that you wanted is what you're wanting to hear. Um, next to that, if you've got this radio and you wanted to replace it, that's huge. But if you've got this, an even bigger deal. So an Electroglide standard does not come with a radio at all. Um, this radio is going to bolt right in where this pocket went. It's going to bolt right in where the GT radio or the new GTS radio goes. It's also, if you had an Electroglide standard, it's going to be pre-wired with a factory Harley plug that plugs right into our new Soundstream radio. The only thing you're not going to have is uh, a factory USB to connect to it, some speaker wiring, and even an antenna, which we have a package that answers all of those questions and also includes the speakers you're going to need. So back to this radio. I've been very, very impressed. We've installed it. It has, uh, even though it's rated at 50 watts per channel, and I've seen people say the factory Harley radio is rated at more, uh, it is a lot louder. So if you want to look at numbers on a sheet of paper, uh, it doesn't show to have as much power, but installed in a bike, it's substantially louder, and we have more sound control than any of the factory radios that we've tried with it. Uh, one thing I really like, if we want to look at the back of this radio, we have the exact factory Harley plug that's on any of the 14 and newer Harley radio. So no wiring needed, just plug it in. We have the factory USB connector, and we also have the factory AM FM antenna connection. Um, we don't have a Sirius XM connector, but you're not gonna need a Sirius XM tuner because this has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and you can use the Sirius XM app straight off your phone into the radio. Um, it's not going to use a wireless interface, headphone interface module, the WIM. Uh, you're not gonna need it, it has built-in Bluetooth. It also has an external microphone. So that's not necessary. There are a few things that this radio will not do, and I wanna be clear on this because I don't want you to buy it and end up disappointed in something it won't do. Uh, it will not maintain a factory CB. It also will not maintain the factory boom audio digital turn on amplifiers. Um, I don't think that's a huge deal because we're con constantly taking boom stage two amps out of these bikes because they fail, because the speakers blow, because the EQ in them is awful, and there's not much you can do about it but change out your speakers and your amps. And this is a great source to have when you're doing that. Uh, so again, it won't turn on those amplifiers. I don't see that as a huge downside, but I wanna let you know in the future, not too far off, probably three, four months, if that's something that really concerns you, we're gonna have another version of this that will maintain those amplifiers. So that's coming, it will be a little higher price point, but it's not out yet. Another thing about this radio, um, if you've looked at other aftermarket options, there's not a lot of great ones. Uh, we at Volunteer Audio, we have sold thousands of Sony radios 
for 14 and newer Harleys. I believe they were the best option up to this point to put in your bike. If you had the AX100, the AX5000, AX5500, or 5600, this is a huge improvement. Huge improvement. Mainly, the IPX6 alone is a huge improvement. What that means is it's marine certified for water jet spray, uh, that it does it to a certain amount of pressure. I never would recommend a pressure washer to any radio, whether Harley makes it, Soundstream makes it or Sony makes it. If you pressure wash it, you're gonna force water somewhere it shouldn't be and you're gonna shorten the life of it and you're not gonna be happy. But a water hose, no problem. Rain, no problem. This radio is built to last years and years and Soundstream's put a, a warranty behind it. This is in the reserve line. If you buy it from an authorized dealer, which Volunteer Audio, our company is, you're gonna have a two year warranty on this radio. So water, resistant IPX6, we don't say waterproof. Waterproof means it's submersible to so many meters underwater. That's never gonna happen on your bike. So we don't use the term waterproof, but don't be fooled. It's just as water resistant as any factory Harley radio. All right, so easy to install, mounts the same way as the stock radio. Same plugins. Everything that you have is gonna go right in. You can do this yourself. And if you watch our other YouTube videos, you'll see over and over where we've pulled radios out, installed it, whether it be a Sony radio or any other radio, um, it's gonna go in the same way. So this is a very, very, very simple install. Um, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So we talked about the GT radio or even the GTS radio. The navigation is pretty lacking. You have to pay to update it uh, yearly. It's gonna get you lost. By using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you've got Apple Maps on your Apple devices, Google Maps and Waze, they're always up to date. When your phone updates, it updates. Uh, so you don't have to worry about doing that. Uh, another thing I like is you can start your trip on your maps, whether it be Google or Apple, before you ever get to your bike. Do that on your phone. When you get to your bike, you plug it in, your maps are gonna come up. Um, many, many, many improvements, but let's talk sound, because you're probably looking at this mostly because you want it to sound better. Um, I've watched some other reviews from people who haven't even got the radio yet, already kind of talking it down without experiencing what it can do. Um, if we were going to do an audio upgrade on your motorcycle, which we do a lot of, if you watch our other videos, you see us do this regularly. We always try to do this the very best way we can. And if we're using a factory radio, we have to flash that radio. And we're flashing it to correct an awful EQ that Harley puts in factory. Uh, they're trying to make it sound really good while you're sitting still, but we find with their factory EQ curves, while moving at speed, highway speeds or more, you can't hear your radio and it just seems to distort a lot. So you'll never have to flash the Soundstream radio to fix an audio issue. It's gonna come with a flat EQ curve already there, but it has 10 bands of graphic equalization that you can adjust. So that gives you a lot of bass adjustment, mid adjustment, and treble adjustment. Not three bands like a stock Harley radio, but 10 bands. It also has a true subwoofer output. So if you decided to add a subwoofer in a side bag, which as you see, if you watch our videos, we do that too, you have control over that sub. You can turn it up and down. You can change the crossover frequencies for the subwoofer. Uh, another cool thing, uh, I didn't know it did this till we got it, we put our hands on it, custom background images. So you can load your own custom background into the radio. So that display can look how you want it to look. Um, side by side with GTS or GT radios, this has just as bright a screen. They actually built in an auto dimming function. It looks at the ambient uh, lighting around you, uh, which the Sony radio can't do and most aftermarket radios can't do. They have a dimmer wire. This actually is looking to see how bright it is outside and automatically adjusts the screen to its whatever brightness you need to be able to see it while riding down the road. Thumb control retention. So thumb controls are gonna still work. Volume up, volume down, track change, mute. Uh, you're gonna be able to change your source. Uh, a lot of ability there. But on top of that, when you're in Apple CarPlay, you normally don't have a lot of uh, ability to change what you're doing beyond track forward, backwards, and volume. Same thing in Android Auto. By having a microphone, you can say, hey Siri, go to this channel, hey Siri, navigate to this location, or hey Google, in the sense of the Android phones. Uh, it does have a, a really nice mic with a wind protector over the end of it, that if you mount it behind your windshield, you are gonna be able to talk to this and get your voice assistant to help you uh, navigate through Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, we did speak a little bit about SiriusXM. That is gonna be an app through Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. 
so download it to your phone, log into your SiriusXM account. That is normally a much cheaper way to do it, and it's free if you already have it in another vehicle. So no more paying all year for SiriusXM on your bike, and you get to ride it you know, in our climate half the year, and you're paying the other half the year for it to sit in the garage. Um, like I say, microphone comes with it. It comes with a really neat harness. So you could plug this straight into your motorcycle and it's gonna come on and you're gonna have extremely limited function of the thumb controls. Uh, if you want full thumb control retention, it's gonna come with this harness with it. You don't pay extra for this. Uh, and you're gonna plug in a thumb control retention interface made by Skosh right into this harness. Uh, we've already tested it. I think it functions much better than the standard Skosh interface. It was made specifically for this radio and you can tell it, it works better than any of them that I've tried. Uh, but one thing that I saw that I really like about this harness, they left all of your speaker wires exposed. So we're really picky at Volunteer Audio. We're not going to cut wires up in a Harley. If we add an amplifier, we're gonna use a proper T harness to tie into the factory wiring. Well, you've got that at no cost included with this radio. Here are your speaker wires in and out. So you can go out of the radio, which would be into your amplifier, and then out of your amplifier onto the other side of this wiring and cut and modify this, and you're never cutting any factory wiring, but you have the ability to tie in your amplifier. Um, this is definitely an awesome piece to have. This is well over $100 from several of the other manufacturers for these Harley connectors with that ability to get to those speaker wires. So some added bonuses here that I think really makes this a great value. Um, when we're filming this, this has an MSRP of $999. Uh, we sell it for $800, and with the thumb control retention, you're looking at $868. Um, that could change in the future. Definitely everything's going up. We've seen COVID price increases from freight to uh, just raw materials. So that's the current price. We have a lot of them in inventory currently. Uh, the thing is, the ones that we receive when we're out, we don't know when we'll get more. So if you're interested, you need to go to volunteeraudio.com or click on the link that we have in the description here and purchase one. Uh, when it says out of stock on our website, that means we're going to be out, but you're welcome to call us and get on a waiting list uh, to hopefully get one of the first ones that come in. We don't require any money down for that. All right, so Enough talking about this radio. Let's see it on the motorcycle in action. I'll go through the menus, how it works, to answer some more of the questions that we've been seeing. All right, so we're here to talk about the HD HU14. I've got it uh, installed in a 2015 Harley Davidson Street Glide Limited. Now it'll also go in any of the Road Glide models. Uh, the only issue with it going possibly into a street, uh, I'm sorry, a CVO would be the boom amplifiers. Uh, so if you're going to upgrade the audio beyond that, no issue with that. So you just saw the radio cut on, you saw fast Bluetooth connected. So huge, huge improvement over the GT radio. Uh, probably just as fast or a little faster than the GTS radio. So this is the Soundstream Reserve radio to your warranty. And I'm going to go over some of the features with you here in the bike and how to use it. So I'm going to go to our home screen. So I'm going to do all this with my hands. Uh, it does work from thumb controls as well, but some people won't have thumb controls because they may not buy that option. So home button is gonna bring up our home screen. It's gonna show you all available sources. Now Apple CarPlay and Android Auto currently are not lit up because there's not a phone plugged into the USB. Uh, but when they're plugged in, that one is going to highlight. So Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, AM FM radio, does not have weather band, but does have AM FM. Has a USB, it's gonna plug into your factory USB port. So through that same USB, you're gonna be able to do a USB flash drive, uh, or you can do your phone plugged into that port. It also has Bluetooth for music and hands-free calling. I stated earlier in the video, we have a microphone uh, that comes with this radio. Just, it's got a little sticky pad, it's gonna mount behind your windshield. It's gonna give you the ability to do uh, answer a phone call or even use your voice assistant for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, uh, which you cannot do with say a GTS radio. Uh, let's go into our settings menu and go over some of our options we have inside the radio. So we're gonna start in our system settings. Uh, you're gonna select your language at the time this boots up. Now this thing is sold all over the world. People drive Harleys in pretty much every country. So you'll select your location and your language. You also set your date and time, uh, very easy to do. Just select it, comes up, selects that. As you see, New Year's Eve here, Happy New Year. Um, but we've already got our time set. Key beep is gonna turn a beep on and off so that when you do volume up or volume down, 
is going to beep at you. Uh, I don't really like that option, but some people do, so you can turn that on and off. Factory reset. So these are computers. If you ever see this kind of glitchy or software issue, you know you've, you've had to restart your phone before. This is where you can reset the radio, pretty much reboot it, and get it back to factory specs. We also have the About tab. If you select that, it's going to give you your latest firmware uh, in the inside the radio. Uh, throughout time, there may be updates. You know, new phone updates sometimes require new radio updates. They're going to be free and available from Soundstream on their website. Update through USB. Once you plug it in, you just hit the Update button. It's going to update the radio. So let's go back. We're going to go back to the menu for display settings. So let's talk about this display. So it's got a lighting detect option. When this is on, it's going to automatically look at surrounding lighting and it's going to dim or uh, increase the brightness accordingly. Uh, we also have illumination. I think this is kind of interesting. So we have LED color. So these, these, uh, this display can be changed in color. The available options are white, red, yellow, blue, green, purple, light green, and those are all your options. Now, this is the only thing about this radio I've been a little disappointed. I really wish there was an amber, uh, but white is much easier to see in most lighting anyway. So you have the option to change that color, or you can select an auto color, and it's gonna pick whatever it feels like. I don't know how it picks that, but uh, I'll just turn it off and use what we want. Uh, previous menu, let's go out of here. So instead of illumination, we also have wallpaper. This is really cool. So you can select from five preset wallpapers, but this sixth one, if you'll take a JPEG image, plug it in the USB port, you can load your own background. So here's our volunteer audio background. It's got a Harley Davidson logo on it. Looks very good in these motorcycles. So let's go to our next menu. Audio and EQ. So this is huge. We have none of this with any of the factory radios. I mean, you've got balance and fader and a three band EQ, but to the level. Uh, and this is not a car radio put in a motorcycle. This is definitely built from the ground up for your Harley Davidson. So as you see, we've got a picture of a Harley. We also have our balance and fade adjustment. And we can touch the screen to do that, or we can also just do that by pressing each one of these little buttons for front or rear till we get it where we want it. So I think it's a really nice uh, graphic user interface for your balance and fader. You also have a subwoofer output. So this thing has front, rear, and sub RCA output on the back of the radio. You can turn the sub out on or off by selecting this button. You also have a subwoofer uh, low pass filter uh, selection here. So you can get it to play 160 hertz and down, 120 down, 80 and down, 50 and down. So these are your available settings. You also have a level option. So this is gonna go uh, up to positive 10 or actually to a negative setting below zero. So I think it also goes to negative 10, we're gonna find out. So negative 10 to positive 10 for sublevel. Quite a bit of adjustment. So let's check out our equalizer. So this is a graphic 10 band EQ. So you can do a custom EQ or you can go through and you can do some presets that are pre-done in the radio. I really don't like most presets, but I do like the ability to have a custom EQ where we can bring our treble up some. Uh, maybe if we've got some distortion from bass at very high volumes, we could turn that down a little bit in this low end. No six and a half inch speaker is gonna play 32 hertz. So a lot of times taking those down some, it's gonna give you more volume and it's gonna stay clear. So depending on your speaker, your amp setup, you may wanna cut some of this bass down while boosting some of the high end. If you've got some bright horn tweeters, you're not gonna wanna turn up that higher end treble. But we do have 10 bands of adjustment that we don't normally have on a stock Harley radio. Now this was interesting. So I saw it had a loud function, but on most radios, when I turn on the loud function, I just get distortion. It doesn't seem to really make it louder. It just makes it sound fuzzier and unclear, which on a Harley, we know we've gotta have clear, loud speakers to be able to hear it while riding. I was very impressed. When I turned on the loud function, this thing got crazy loud. Uh, much, much louder than having it off. With the loud turned off though, it was completely clear to full volume. So I would probably leave the loud function off if I was running an amplifier so that I could get the full volume out of the radio with no distortion. Now with loud on, it seemed like it got distortion somewhere around volume 45, I believe it goes to 50. Uh, so with that being said, if it starts to get distorted or doesn't sound good, quit turning it up. Uh, but with loud on, it did go quite a bit louder than with it off and substantially louder than the stock radio did. So huge, huge improvement on volume when the loud function's on, which is not normal for most radios. 
Uh, after audio and EQ, we have our Bluetooth settings. This is where you're gonna go to pair a phone, turn Bluetooth on or off. As you see, my phone is currently connected, or you can even go in here and clear out all the phones that are, are connected. So that's a quick rundown of our settings menu. Um, very impressed with this radio. It's got a lot of quick, easy ways to get to this. Uh, for instance, I've got volume down. If we were on radio and we wanted to get the EQ, there's a quick EQ button here to bring up the EQ to be able to adjust that. Uh, very user intuitive. All the buttons that you need are right on the screen. Um, I definitely would suggest that you set your presets for your FM radio uh, because the thumb controls quick press through your presets. So it's gonna be much easier than scanning through stations. Um, also, if you press the home button, it's gonna change your source to whatever sources are available. Um, that is very handy while you're going down the road to be able to change that source. Um, we have volume up and down. We also have on the other side, if you press in on your thumb controls, on the right side, it's going to mute the radio, which we were already volume all the way down. Volume up and down works on that same side as well. And uh, the left and right functions are gonna be more so like when you have a, a USB inserted with music on it, you're going through folders or tracks. So let's go back out of here and we're gonna go back to our home screen. I'm gonna plug up Android, I'm sorry, Apple CarPlay. I've got an Apple device and show you how that works. So just plugged into the factory USB, an Apple device. So now we're gonna select Apple CarPlay. And here you're gonna see what should look very familiar if you have an Apple phone. So here are all the available apps that are on the phone. Now these are gonna vary depending on what you have on your phone. If you haven't downloaded Waze, you're not gonna see Waze on your phone. But as you see, I have Apple Maps, I've got Google Maps. So here we are, here's a 3D view. Uh, we can also do a 2D view as well. Um, I've got K-Love, I like Chris, Christian music, so I've got the K-Love app. Uh, I was talking earlier about SiriusXM, SiriusXM app, bring it up. You can go through all the different channels that are available through SiriusXM. Here's a, a country station, the highway. It's gonna bring on uh, the music, gives you your album art, very, very cool. Uh, works as good or better than having the integrated Sirius XM tuner at a lower cost. Um, so Pandora, Spotify, Hulu, iHeartRadio, Amazon Prime Music, Tidal, so many options for music when you've got your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto connected to your bike. So, uh, no need for CDs, infinite amount of music straight from your smartphone. Um, I think you get the idea, it's, it's pretty awesome. Thumb controls work excellent. I've been very, very impressed with the way they function. You're not gonna be able to do some things. I've, I've had people ask me, can I zoom in on the map through my thumb controls? Uh, I've messed with it, no you can't. Uh, that is not something I've seen in any vehicle that I've been able to do in Apple CarPlay or Android Auto but the map automatically zooms to what you need to see the road, as well as keep you either pointed north or continually move with you uh, and correct that map automatically while you're traveling. So I don't really see a need for that, but I did have a couple of people ask that question about the thumb control functionality. So Bluetooth that hooks up extremely fast, FM that uses your factory FM connection, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay with a microphone so you can use your voice assistant, there's, there's really no downside to this radio. And as the future goes on and we get a couple other versions of this radio, I'm really excited to see what else we can add to it. Um, huge improvement over the GT radio or the Electric Glide Standard, which has no radio at all. And I believe it's even an improvement over the GTS radio. Uh, so far, Volunteer Audio's review is this thing is awesome. I think it's a bargain at its price point. It's about $1,000 less than a factory GTS radio from your Harley dealer with a longer warranty. It's got two year warranty through your authorized dealer, which Volunteer Audio is. Now, real quick, I wanted to go over the fact there are going to be some non-authorized dealers all over the internet. They're always there. Who knows how they get these radios. Uh, but if you buy it from a non-authorized dealer, you're not going to have any kind of warranty. So I think it's a great radio, but I wouldn't risk it uh, buying it from somebody that's not considered an authorized dealer from Soundstream. And that information is available on Soundstream's website. So you can go there and find out if they're an authorized dealer. Um, thank you for your time. 
Hope this has helped you uh, maybe make a decision whether to or not to buy this radio. Uh, like I said before, it's going to be available at volunteeraudio.com. You can call us at 1-844-30-AUDIO if you've got any questions. And please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like what you've seen. Uh, we're going to show you many, many ways of improving the audio on your Harley, show you new products before anybody else has them. Uh, so like us, subscribe to us, follow us on Facebook. Um, well, God bless. Hope you have a good day.